did is we took an old Amish stove, cook stove, and we decided to turn it into a Russian masonry stove. We wanted to keep the cook stove component, but we also wanted to have the Russian chimney where it absorbs all this into the thermal mass here. Everyone was burning wood back in the old world, and what happened is they started running out of wood. And so masonry stoves were man trying to adapt to that situation. And they are extremely efficient. They, they burn a lot less wood and throw, throw a lot more heat. The reason they can do that is they burn the fire in a very rapid fashion, giving it all the air at once. And so that burns the creosote up. So there's no creosote that forms in the chimney. These are much safer stoves, they, you know, as far as you don't get creosote buildup. And creosote buildup is a real danger. That's why houses get burned down from wood stoves. So this, this can't happen with this stove. Um, the masonry stove, like I say, was, was, is extremely efficient. It can be up to 100% efficient if done properly. No catalytic combustor can come close to that. And so we used the firebox and everything of the Amish stove and we use the Russian masonry chimney. And the Russian masonry chimney is, the smoke will go in here, and like this, it goes into these smoke channels, like this, and it finally goes out. So it, it has to travel through 24 feet of smoke channels before it finally gets up to, that, to this point. And as it's traveling through there, it absorbs into this whole mass. Like this is the original stove right here. And this is the metal piece that we got from the scrap metal yard. And so we ended up putting this on it and we had to have these legs here to support the extra weight of the brick because there's 300 fire brick here. So we had to put six legs that we designed and welded fast. And then the bottom, there's a little nut that we welded at the bottom of each log, leg in a bolt so we can adjust this for the height of the whole unit. And so with, with this, you have a massive thermal mass, and, and what this hybrid allowed is we still have a cook surface, we actually have an oven, and we have the Russian masonry stove chimney. So we thought it was the best of all worlds, and it didn't cost us that much money. I think we have like $600 in everything. These, these doorways here, you have to open like once a year and just get a shop vac and clean the fine dust that forms in there. There's no creosote that forms in this because this, the stove burns extremely hot and it burns all the creosote up. That's where you get the extra heat value. And this absorbs into the thermal mass, all of the heat from the stove. And once the, the fire, you only have like one fire, maybe two fires a day. You burn the fire really rapidly and say the fire is out within like 45 minutes. Then you turn the air off in the stove. You turn the air off in the stove because you don't want any in air coming into the stove because any air that comes into the stove will make a draft that ends up going up and out of the chimney. You really don't want to be heating the atmosphere. I mean, that shouldn't be your goal to go out and cut massive amounts of firewood and say, gee, I gotta get out of bed this morning and go work my tail off with a chainsaw, I'll go out in the woods cutting all my own wood and with my intention of, uh, that I'm gonna try to heat the, the atmosphere up. This stove doesn't heat the atmosphere. That's the beauty of it. This, this is like awesome old technology. This here is like your air inlet. You wanna get the air from the outside of your building. You don't wanna be taking already heated air that's inside of your building and wasting it by putting it in to combust the, the wood. Colder air from outside has more oxygen and makes better combustion. This is a little valve. I open it when I want to get, get let the stove have air from the outside. And as soon as the fires all burn out, you really don't want to keep this open because what this does is allows cool air to come in and then it rises up through the whole chimney and out. And so what you want to do is once, the once your fire is done burning, which only takes like an hour, you want to shut off the valve and don't let it have any more air. This is a little blower fan. And we're starting the stove up. We put 
that on. And we just have to turn that on for several minutes. And that allows us to, to have a very oxygen rich, fast fire and quick heat so that it's much better for cooking too. Two buckets of sand, masonry sand. And then I have, next I put this little rig here, which gets the rocks out of the soil. And I'm just gonna use soil from our farm here. Now soil from the farm. I use one bucket of that. So, so far it's been two buckets of sand, one bucket of soil from the farm. And here it's all dry, it had two buckets so long. Screening it just to get the rocks out. The stones are a little bit too big than what we want. I have the respirator on because it's toxic, toxic soil. <laughs> okay, there's the rock set. Our farm grows good rocks. See right there, we threw them on the farm. We haven't figured out a way to sell those for a crop yet. Then next we go to Bucket alone. I use two of these Type S masonry cement. That was Type S masonry cement. We just used the yogurt tub container to measure it. Oh, the perlite. It's a coarse perlite. That right there. That's five pounds. And it's good to have your mask on. Definitely, you're doing the cement, the lime, and the perlite. Have a respirator on. Well, you want to step back so you don't get hurt. Step on back. Such a powerful person. He's dangerous with the weapon. This is where it's fun. It's just a blast to be able to make. The water has those are polypropylene fibers they use in concrete. You just mix them with the water. I just put one hand, big handful in. That helps hold the whole mixture together. Mm -hmm. blending of his mix. Even ball-headed chicken fucking can do it. Do you want to grab it and hold it in a handful and see what it looks like? It's not real wet, but it can hold together. Not too wet, not too dry. It's a 
Masonry stoves are like substantially more efficient than most typical modern iron stoves on the market today. They're safer to live in because the surfaces aren't as hot. They, they sharply reduce air pollution, so they're much more, much more green and sustainable for, for your home. They fit well into the house because you can design them to fit in, into nooks and crannies and stuff like that. And they don't parch the interior air, they're, which makes the house much more comfortable to live with. The, the air moisture inside the house remains much more moist with the masonry stone as compared with the modern metal um, wood stove. And she's just carving out and sculpting a sleeping kitty because we're, we love our cats. And she's also part cat lady. Can you say meow? Meow.